Here we have a question about measuring angles, naming angles and parallel lines. If you haven't had a go at this question yet, do pause the video and have a go now. You can even put a protractor up onto the screen to measure the acute angle, whichever angle you think that might be, and it should be the correct angle. So do pause the video and have a go now. Okay, mark in the arrows, or mark with arrows, the par parallel lines. So that's the two lines that don't meet. These two lines will meet up here somewhere, so the two parallel lines will be this one and this one. The arrows must point along the lines, you can't put the arrows on top of the lines, that doesn't make any sense. The arrows are pointing so that they're showing that they're going to continue going in that direction and never meet. Mark on with the letter O the obtuse angle. The obtuse angle is the one that's between 90 and 180, not 90 or 180, so not these two, but between them. So this, it's this angle here, this is the angle O, the obtuse angle. Uh, measure the size of the acute angle, so we need a protractor for that. So I've got one here, if I bring it in and place it so that the, the centre of the protractor is on the point of the angle. Um, the acute angle is the pointy angle, it's the one that's uh, less than 90, so that's this one here. And then if we look at it along the protractor, we should get, let's just change the pen, we should get, there's, a, that one says 140, but we're actually measuring from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2. So that's 42 degrees, and that should be the exact answer. But you would get anything between 40 to 44 would get you a mark for that answer. There we go.